Hi, I'm Dan Schmidt. I do a weekly television show called Team Chicago Challenge. As we go back in the past, again, 2002, what a great year for Team Chicago. We won the championship in the WIRA National Endurance Series. We won the championship middleweight superstar class. It was a great racing season. The championship was battled out all the way down to the end. But race six was Talladega. I like Talladega. It's a nice small track. Got some great footage from there. So in the next eight or ten minutes, we're going to show you all the action from Talladega. And let's see how Team Chicago does. Because we like this track. We like the owner, Mike, and his wife. Mike owns the Kawasaki shop in town. I'll tell you, go to Talladega. It's like being with family. So let's check out the action. Talladega, Alabama, the Weira National Endurance Series 2002. So overall, in the point standings, coming into round six at Talladega, it's Vezra Suzuki first, Army of Darkness second, Vezra Suzuki two is third, Team Extreme Pennzoil is running fourth, J&J &J is fifth, Team Life has moved up to sixth, seventh is Psychotherapy Racing out of New York, eighth is Northern Getaway, ninth is 14K the movie, and Team Chicago, we are at least in the top 10 as we wait for the start. The teams are lined up. The start of this four hour national. Army of Darkness is ready. Third wave start. Be three waves, 37 teams. Going to take the green flag to start this four hour national endurance. The two minute board is up. The fans are gathering at the wall to witness the start. The riders are ready. Watch the flag man. Second wave is off, third wave is off. Thirty-seven teams will challenge this 1.3 mile road course. Up front, Vezra Suzuki, two, and he had 600 Suzuki, that's Mark Young. Trey Beatty is suffering, he had two get-offs in practice. He's taking it nice and easy on the start. Looks like Vezra won. Number one bike is about in seventh place. Trey Beatty has led this team, winning all five events to this point. As we see Steve Carson on the Team Chicago, four and six prepared. Yamaha, R6. Mark Young, Mark Kozo. Northern Getaway, Team Life is flying out there. They're in fifth place, number 85. As the teams come streaming by onto the front straightaway to complete lap one of this four hour national endurance. It took nearly 20 minutes for the injured Trey Beatty to get the Vesra Suzuki up front. After one hour racing, Vesra up front, Army of Darkness running second to Vesra. Team two is running third as we see Phil Caldell. He's running Moto Heaven, his own team, because this is only a four hour event. And Phil wanted to ride a little bit more, so he put his own team on the track. Phil Caldell running Moto Heaven, Suzuki, fourth place, Team Life, the Team Chicago is competing with is in fourth place in the middleweight super stock class. Velocity crew is up to seventh place in Team Chicago with Steve Carson, who's running in eighth place after one hour. During the second hour, Army of Darkness ended up back in the pits. They continue to have a clutch problem. Army of Darkness, who was running so great in their first hour, as we see Team Extreme Pennzoil coming back in the pits. They are now running in third and fourth place. They got two teams. They got a 1,000, they got a 600. Vesra's running first and second also. 85 is Team Life, Kevin Warner. Kevin Warner's flying out there. They are up there. Fourth place during that first hour and the second hour. They are now in fifth place. Team 
in Chicago. We are running in 13th place after I went out. A little bit of problem with the handler as we see. John Jacoby, who ran the second portion for Vezra, coming in to make the pit stop. Vezra Suzuki still leading. MB Motorsport, who ran off the track earlier. They're running second place in the lightweight class. They are now running second place, 13th overall in the lightweight class, number 55, MB Motorsport. As Trey Beatty gets back on the Vezra Suzuki, we are now getting here to third hour point. We see Steve Carson in the third hour. Vesper Suzuki, the 1000s up front. Vesper 2 is running second. Team Extreme Pencil is running third. Team Extreme Pencil is running fourth. Team Life has dropped back to eighth place. Infotech on the 650s is running tenth. Team Chicago, Steve Carson crawling us back up to 13th place. We have got to struggle. We got to catch up with Team Life if we're going to win middleweight super stock class this year. As we see Army of Darkness back on, they spent so much time in the pits that they are now running 33rd out there on the track. And now it's my time to do battle on the Team Chicago R6 Yamaha dealers, four and six prepared as I come up on Jeff Weiler Motorsports. They're on a 600 Suzuki right in front of them is Joe Malinese on the Team Life. Team Life has got two laps on Team Chicago. I'd like to get by Team Life to unlap us. Also, we are leading Jeff Weil Motorsport, but I'd like to get by them to put a lap on Jeff Weiler. What a great race I get by Joe Malinese. A little bit down the back straightaway. Don't quite have enough snuff. The Team Life is sponsored by Lifestyle Bar and Grill in Philadelphia. Joe Malinese has also got a body shop and he's rebuilding townhouses in Philadelphia. As we're getting near the end of this four hour race, we're a national championship race, Talladega GP course. Vezra is up front, Vezra's running second. Velocity Crew has moved to third place. They are second in middleweight super bike as I try to use turn one and two to my advantage I get by Joe Malnese and head over to turn three and four which I go through very well trying to keep up with that Jeff Weiler trying to stay ahead of Joe Malnese fourth and fifth is Pennzoil one and two as we see Tyco Therapy they have dropped the bike and they're trying to cross the track this crash will knock them out of the top 10. Running sixth place is Performance Superbike. Neighbor to beat the seven. j, &J is eight. Team Life is ninth. Infotech is 10. Moto Heaven's 11th. 14K to movies 12th. Team Chicago, we are 13th. Looking to get, oh, Joe Malnese comes by one more time. What a great race. What a great competition running at Talladega GP course on his 1.3 mile course. Vesra Suzuki, the 600, Vesra Suzuki too has just come sneaking by. As the checkered flag flies, picking up the win, it is Vesra Suzuki up front. So Vesra Suzuki is one and two. Velocity crew is running in third place. Team Extreme, Pennzoil is Fourth and fifth as Trey Beatty brings Vezra back in the pits. The, the overall points, it's Vezra Suzuki, one and two. Army of Darkness has slipped back to third place. Team Extreme, Pennzoil is running fourth. James Day is fifth. Team Life is sixth. Psychotherapy, seventh. 14K the movie is eighth. Infotech is ninth. And Team Chicago, we are in 10th place. And now we're going to look at some of the sprint races that are part of the We're a National Challenge Series that took place on Sunday in Alabama. We're looking at open super stock up front. That's Scott Hallowell on that Alpine Star, a ride, Dynajet, EBC, 1000 Suzuki, right with them. That's Mark Cozier, Lee Psycho, Pirelli, Vanson, Pitbull, Silkaline, Votex. They head down the back, shoot. 
Mark Kosier makes the move on the inside, gets by Scott Harwell. He's now leading. This is his first national challenge race that he has led. Scott Harwell is right on him. Third place going on to pick up the win. It is Mark Kosier picking up the win in open super stock. This is his first national win, the Weira National Challenge Series. As he lifts that front wheel, he is one happy camper. Next up, 125 GP up front. Jason Peters, but right with him is Patrick Chandler on the 125s. They are flying out here. Like Patrick Chandler. Went a little wide, lost touch with Jason Peters. Jason Peters it generally wins and runs away with these races. Going on to pick up the win, it is Jason Peters picking up the win. Patrick Chandler running a solid second. Top 600 super stock experts up front. John Jacoby on that Vezra Suzuki. Arrive, Vance and Dynajet. Traction Dynamic, Penske. In the meantime, Matthew Fortek out of South Holland, Illinois, is putting it to Josh Hayes, this young rider on the Yamaha. He is flying up to seventh place. But as the battle continues, young Matthew Fortex is staying ahead of Josh Hayes as they battle it out in the Dunlop 600 Super Stock class. But picking up the win, John Jacoby stretching the field on the Vezra breaks Suzuki. Arise, Scott Harwell battles. Brian Stokes has moved up. Battles continues. Scott Harwell second. Brian Stokes third. Mark Kosier fourth. David Yakov fifth. Josh Hayes gets around Matthew Fortex to take seventh. Matthew ended up eighth, and that's it. In the 600 Dunlap Super Stock race as Alabama Life Savers, they came out, they stayed for two days of racing. We never needed them. Nobody got airlifted. It was great to have them there. I want to thank Bendy, Jennifer, and Dave. It was great that they were there. Never needed. But it was a great feeling to have the Lifesavers, Alabama Lifesavers, music for the show by Engine, Mike Preetz, Intrigue and Travesty, and all this music recorded at Fireside Studios, Westchester, Illinois. And that's it. Talladega, GP track. And a special thanks to Weira and Dennis Torres. We could not have done this show without their help. Dennis, thanks again. Your video footage really helps the show. And as the Alabama Lifesavers head out, that's it from Talladega for the Weira GMD CompuTrack National 4-Hour Endurance.